36-year-old Gabriel Boric entered the Senate Hall without a tie. Just one way of showing he's not changed since he was a shaggy-haired student leader fighting for social justice. Now, a decade later, he's heading the country with other former student leaders. They're a new generation promising to overhaul an economic model that has contributed to deep social inequalities. Thousands of supporters swarmed the plaza in front of the presidential palace, hoping to see and touch their new president. This is like a dream come true. After so many years of waiting, I like Boric's slogan that hope can overcome fear. Chile's youngest president cautions that the social transformations needed in health, education and pensions will take time. We'll go slow because we are going far. This government will not be the end of the march. It will be a long, difficult road. But today, the dreams of millions of people are pushing us forward. Boric says his government will champion the environment and indigenous and women's rights. Some are concerned that President Boric may be too radical, too far left, especially since the Communist Party makes up part of his governing coalition. But in actual fact, if you look at his program, he seems much more like a social democrat in countries like, for example, Scandinavia, where social equality is taken for granted. Absent from the inauguration were the leaders of Venezuela and Nicaragua, who were not invited. Instead, Boric invited opponents of those he deems autocrats. And I hope that Chileans help him to carry out a program for a different type of society that will raise hopes on our continent so punished by so many dictatorships. Washington's envoy agrees. You know, his statements in defense of democracy, human rights, the rule of law have been incredibly positive. Boric knows that much of the world, and especially Latin America, are focused on how well he can make good on his promise to create a more inclusive Chile without populism or sacrificing democracy. Lucia Newman, Al Jazeera, Santiago.